First of all, are you guys having a good day today? Good day. Yeah, yeah. good day. The Look. weather is beautiful. It is, it yeah. is. Um, what do you guys have for us today? Oh, well, I have candles over here. I'm sorry, I can't move well. Okay, yeah, no, I see. I see. Um, no, so I have candles. So I hand make all the candles. My company is Red Elephant Candle Company. So I hand make all the candles, everything down to the vessels. And then I also have uh, my bath line as well, and I also have make the soap dispensers and the um, soap dishes. And then I have my little mini vases and trays. So yeah. Okay. So see how serious you are. Is this yes. is this your main job? Yes. Oh. This pays your bills. This pays everything. Entrepreneurship, oh, yeah. not punching the clock. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is real you, you life. You got an LLC. I got LLC. I pay. <laughs> I pay taxes on it. <laughs> okay. Could it be a part okay. of this program if we did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is your best-selling candle? You would say. Nice too. Thank you so much. Um, what's your best? Like, what's the best one you would say? The best one that I would say. It in was, your opinion. In my opinion, it would be Harper's uh, Gratitude. So it's the green one. Can I pick that up? Uh -huh, yeah. Who makes the vases? I do. Harper. You make everything? Yeah. Wow. So I hand make all of them. And they're all made with all natural ingredients. And love. And love. <laughs> it's a lot do of love. You, do you live in a factory? How do you produce I live this? in uh, my uh, condo. And I reproduce <laughs> this in this space that's amazing called my kitchen. Wow. And, <laughs> so, yes. You must not have no kids running I around have, to bother you. I don't have, no. I have a child. Uh, she is 12. Oh, okay. Well, no, so she's not, not bothering, bothering me. She helping. <laughs> she, <laughs> she helps me. Oh, yeah. It's one of them coming here. Oh, yeah. what, are the, what are the trays for? So the trays are just based. They're used for, um, you can use this for your jewelry. You can put your candles oh, on there. You okay. can put your remote on there. Yeah, it's just it's just a good like accent piece. Like I create right, okay. to repurpose. So you're able to put it in your home. You're good to get gifts. You can put it as potter. So, yeah. So you said your name is Jamika. Who is Harper? Is that someone you know? Me. Oh, your last name? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 it went over my head. It went over my head. How did you get the red elephant name, though? Uh, my favorite color and my favorite animal. Oh, okay. So how long, how long does it take to make candles on the average, you would say? On an average, um, to, make one. to make one candle is three hours to mold. Uh, and then to pour, so it's probably like three hours, 20 minutes. To make one. To make one, yeah. So how many are you making at the same time? Uh, mass production is real. So I'll probably, <laughs> um, I'll probably like do between 15 and 20. At oh, one time. okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So this one right here takes three hours. Yes, this one takes three hours to just for it to dry. So, so most of that time is drying. It's drying. Okay. Yeah, yeah most of the time it's drying. Pouring is not hard. So Pouring how much? How long does it take you to get to the drying stage? About an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That, that, that's super cool. Uh, what's next? What's uh, next for Red Elf, Elf, Elephant? Brick and mortar. <laughs> uh, maybe a brick and mortar. Um, no, we're gonna say brick and mortar. <laughs> brick and oh yes. We're gonna have a brick and mortar. So it's Red Elephant Candle Company. I'm gonna expand it to good. So I wanna go into more of a home good space. So I start doing that even like with my bath and then like it's a home decor. Oh. So we're here. So I have to leave. So, oh, yeah. That's so, dope. Can I take this? Yeah. That is nice. Wow. So yeah, so I'm going in more so in the home goods and then expand Is that is that soap as well up there? Uh, soap right here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Black on people. I am very impressed. I am impressed for real. For I real. will definitely be making a purchase. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you. you. Uh, tell the people your company, Red Elephant. So where it's you can Red, find. Red Elephant Candle Company. I am located in brick and mortar on, on in Washington Park. So it's 319 East Garfield. You can also find me at www.redelephantcandlecompany.com. Along with my Instagram, it's red.elephantcandlecompany. Yes, thank you. How much are these? These are 45. So we're at the Silver Room and we have Samantha Joe. Samantha Joe. Owner Joe's. of. Yes. What's o that? Owner of. Samantha Joe's Bomb Yard. And tell people what you have today. 
So Samantha Joe's Bomb Yard, which I'm Samantha Joe. It is a botanica and apothecary where I sell spiritual amulets, medicinal herbs, baths, and body butters and skincare. So if you're stressed out, you know what you know what the remedy is. You know what to give me. Take a bath. <laughs> Take a bath. You sell, you sell that cocoa lotion. Yes. Cocoa. You know, a wise woman once told Kendrick Lamar, shit don't change till you wash your ass, right? Yes, yeah, that's yeah, true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so I am here to uh, enhance that lifestyle. Mm. How long have you been in business? I've been in business for seven years oh. as an artist, but my apothecary has been in business for three years. Oh, 2020, like COVID, like us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I reconnected with my family. Um, they're medicine workers down in the South. I did not know about my Geechee Gullah lineage mm. in the way that I've been learning. So what I created, I found out that my family already had books and recipes on their own. Mm. So the things that I thought was original really wasn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'm just carrying on my uh, legacy and my lineage. Is, is this your main job? No, I have two businesses. Oh, Whoa. Yes. two more businesses? Whoa. I have How a nonprofit. <laughs> I have a nonprofit called the Aura House, and then I have my LLC, Bomb Yard. So I am maintaining two different businesses with two different rules. So it's really challenging to keep up with everything. One needs taxes, one doesn't. So it gets a bit jumbled. But uh, for the Aura House, I do a lot of work with black women, um, introducing them to their spiritual wellness and helping them um, along the way. What do you think as far as our spirituality, as far as, I guess I want to say hone in on it, what, do you, what would you say is our issue, so to speak, or something that we need to bring out? Us as blacks? Us as blacks. We are ego. We think that um, everything has to be um, praised one way, that there is only one way to do it. Uh, because it's been taught, right? And um, we stick to what we know that is comfortable. So when you strip people away from what they are so used to being comfortable, everything else does not look the same way. So then we reject it, right? So yes. I am just here to release that stigma and to introduce that to people. I am not here to tell anyone what to what practice, to yeah. but I do uh, provide my own books from my library at home and my store. And you can just read and whatever floats to you. Pick it up. Now, is diet, is it uh, is that also a big thing as far as spirituality and health and whatnot? Absolutely. People are surprised that a lot of their issues start in their gut. Everything is in your gut. Everything starts and ends in your gut. It's about what, what you're you, eating, what, do you mean what you're by consuming. That? <laughs> what you're eating, what you're consuming, the environment that you're around. Um, it's important. It's just as equally as important as working out and being active. What do you not eat? What do you stay away from? I try to stay away from a lot of meat right now. A lot of meat has been tearing my party, my body up. Um, and sugar. Sugar. Is, yeah. Sugar. Yeah. You're off sugar like, completely or just? <sighs> which is hard. That's hard. Yeah. It, pause. That's, you know, <laughs> When I am feeling like uh, having type of sugary drink, right? Like I try not to go for pop, so I try to make a tea. Or if I want something like that, kombucha. I don't. What's the longest you've gone without sugar? You think? Woo. Maybe two months. Oh, with two no months. sugar no, at all. No sugar at all. Did you feel the, what? What kind of effects? So when you say no sugar, what type of sugar are we talking about? Because not I do like, eat uh, a lot of fruit, but a right, lot yeah, of fruit not, does have a lot fruit. of sugar. Right, yeah, so yeah. you mean like candy? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I took a break. Um, from it was years ago in my twenties, but I wanted to just take a break, and my friends were all giving up stuff, and I was like, I'm not even giving up sugar. Uh, <laughs> that is very hard to do. That it is hard. Is. It, it's a challenge, but it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. If you see the way that we eat as Americans. There's, there's a rapper I listened to from 3-6 Mafia. His name is DJ Paul. Hey. He did an interview. He said giving up sugar was like giving up crack. Agree. Really? You can get he really said you get a lot of headaches, sugar. withdrawal. You can get very, yeah. Wow. Really 
That's why I asked what's the longest she's gone. Yeah, she and look at um, our community. You know, we grew up going to the ca- I grew up going to the candy store. You know, candy all the time. Um, diabetes epidemic. A lot of people are addicted to Coca Cola. I just learned that. That's a random fact. Yeah. So uh, sugar, I got, get up sugar. I got I got two questions yes. for you. What do you want to tell our black audience, like, as far as going forward, enhancing ourselves, enhancing us, what do you want to inform of us? There are no boundaries once you expand yourself. And once you get over that limitation, the rest can be history. I got one last question. I'm sorry. Silver Room, they say, allegedly, this is it. (laughs) Allegedly. 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 But we're from Chicago. Yes. What makes Chicago so fucking nice, eccentric, awesome in the summertime? Our moods change in the summer. I think it's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> as a, a deep, deep Chicagoan, answer. yeah, as a Chicagoan, when you talk to people in the wintertime, it can be kind of misjudged because you would get yeah. that. Because we're not like that all the time. We're right, not right. like that all the time. Hey man, but once we've been right. Right, get the fuck out of my way. It's cold out. But out. once you feel that 65 right. rolling, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, Mood change. good morning, top of the morning to you. How you doing? Have a great day. You know what? You, you need a coffee? I'm going to go grab us coffee today. It changes. I never knew that. Yeah, Hell yeah. Because yeah. I'll be mad as fuck. Yeah. I'd be like, don't say shit to me today. It's, Yo, cold. it's and it's cold. And it's only nice out here, what, three, four months out the year? Yeah. Exactly. So that's why I'm like, yesterday was pretty spicy. So today, <laughs> today was, it was pretty, it's hot, but it was good. It was really good. You know what, Pub, your your businesses, all of them, let people know. Yeah, so you can find me at um, SamanthaJoe.com or you can follow me on Instagram at Samantha Joe's Bomb Yard or I, Samantha Joe, J-O, not J-O-E. <laughs> Thank, Thank, Thank you, you very Sam. much. Thank you much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck for everything. I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So it's what's like hip hop. We are at the Silver Room, and we have here today Lori Angeli with All Buttered Up. All Buttered Up got the I'm Boozy about to bout my butters. Yeah. And what yeah. what is your product? My product is uh, luxury skincare. I specialize in shea body butter that does not leave a greasy residue. If it doesn't leave you greasy, how do how, I'm still ashy then? No, 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 no. See, that's the problem. People are quite greasy. <laughs> Slickness. Yeah. You gotta, not being ashy. You got to see that shine so to know. I product that when you put it on, it kept you moisturized for at least two hand washes. What? Can, rebuttal. I wouldn't, I wouldn't I, believe you. I have a, what if you have eczema? I have something for eczema. Mm. Yes. So my flagship product is my Shea Body Butter, though I have a full skincare line. Okay. So I'm going to start you out with the mint scent I made for men. It's called Confidence. Okay. He's confident. I think I'm a confident guy. Yeah, I think so. You look like it. Might as well smell like it, too. Yeah, there you go. Zeke. So I'm going to invite you to smell this. And if you like that, I'm going to invite you to put it in the good. back of your hand. On the back of my hand. <laughs> and rub that in for me. So what you're going to know is, first off, a little goes a long way. Yes, I see that. <laughs> this, is, this is like Murray's uh, wave grease. <laughs> In 90 seconds, it will be completely I was about to say, it's pretty skin. greasy right now. It's going to be completely absorbed into your skin. So you're not ashy it's anymore. It's going to have a shine, but it won't leave a greasy residue. Oh, so okay. you can touch things and not leave a fingerprint. Or okay. your hair, work, your clothes, or anything. Okay. It's made with a base of shea butter, mango butter, coconut oil, jojoba, almond, castor, and olive oil. So it's literally a little jar of magic. Wow. One, one is shiny, one's not. It's the one that's on. And hmm. he was not ashy to begin with. Right. So, <laughs> he just wasn't all butted up. You feel me? Smells good. So, Smells this, good. On the sense spectrum, my butters are the softest, and my fragrance oils are the most aromatic. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want something? I'll, I'll try this. Okay. I'll do. So that's just the fragrance. That's the fragrance. Okay. I'm going to give you some butter. Give me one second. Okay. Same deal. Rub that this in, is the right? male body butter. This is the male scent. So this no, is the no, that, that one. That's, that's the that's the scent I use for men. So it's unisex. Oh, the scent. Oh, okay, just Mike, the scent. Mike. Mike. Oh, it's no. a uni- <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Go with it. So it's unisex, but it leans masculine. Okay. 
And you can see that especially in the fragrance of mm, This smells good. Yeah. Thank you. And I make all my fragrance. You do? How long does this take? Um, You're I like a mad scientist, huh? I am a little bit. A little bit. A little bit of a renaissance woman. <laughs> a little bit. I make all this product. I work with a chemist local in Chicago to make my Whoa. shower gel, though. But everything else is handmade by me. I, I do have a question. I, I yes. see one of your shower gels is called Pillow Talk. That's my what? best selling fragrance. Really? Yes. Would you like to smell it? Of course. Pillow Talk. I like the title. Pillow so that is Pillow Talk. Okay. Okay. It smells very uh, feminine. I wouldn't rock it. I mean, I mean, you may not rock it, but you <laughs> go somebody that got it. Oh, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. All day. No, no, for Let's sure. Play. Play, smell it? Hey, I'm not putting this under your nose. Go ahead, smell it. So that's my best seller, Pillow Talk is. This smells good, buddy. Thank you. Thank okay. you, confidence. Second best seller is Come Get Me. So I tell people. Come Get Me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's an invitation. <laughs> How do you spell Come Get Me? It's a traditional way. Oh. oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Dude. I wasn't so trying I to go. I tell people, either you're going to get got at home or in the streets. But either way, you're going to get got. Mm. Okay. I'm going to yes. go smell Y'all tell me if it's got, getting got up. That part. So say it into the mic now. Yeah, you can't yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty good, man. I would come get this. <laughs> now this container right here, how long does that last? It depends on your use. Okay. And it depends on how you use it. Daily. Like people that bought it on Saturday and needed some more on Tuesday. God dang, what? They were like, ma'am, I didn't know what you They're not the only one using it. They, no, they said, ma'am, I didn't know what you was giving me when I bought it. And now I know, and I need more. So okay. You have, so you have crack for lotion. I do. They literally do call it skin crack. So what's the biggest container there? That's, that's pretty ounce. small. An eight ounce container is my biggest container. Oh, this, container. oh, yeah. okay. The eight ounce container is the largest container that it comes in. That's the standard size. Okay. Um, this is really just to be TSA friendly for the oh, small okay. introduction to the line, right? But we have a full skincare brand. So like I said, shower gel, body butter, fragrance oil, body oil. Body oil is jojoba, almond, castor, olive oil. Goes on after the shower. Don't towel off, lock all that moisture in. You're moisturized for the next 36 hours. Now... How long you how long have you been doing this like pillow talk body oil like Um I started the company five years ago next month. Oh, congrats. August twelfth is my birthday. So when when there when the pandemic hit, was there a rise or fall or was there like you had to reinvent yourself or whatnot? No, the pandemic did well by me in the oh, it did? Oh, okay. Like I got spotlight by uh retail me not did a spotlight on me, they still spotlight me right now today. Um, people were at home and they wanted something, they wanted to support Black Business. Because mind you, when the pandemic shut us down, it was right around George Floyd and then like the revolution right. being televised, right? right? So it was all this support out there. So I did very well during the pandemic, actually. Oh, man. So you're wow. the CEO. I'm the head, everybody. Head how, mu how much sleep are you getting running this company? <sighs> Not much. Mm. Because I actually have, a, I, I help entrepreneurs in the daytime. Oh. So I'm a oh. program director for this company called Ultima Entrepreneur Cooperative. Where we help businesses of color scale from ideation all the way to mergers and acquisitions. What about podcasts? Black podcasts? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we don't want yes. a bunch of clock yes. anymore. But see, people don't understand about entrepreneurship. This is it's hard. It's, it's hard. hard. Yeah, it's yeah, hard yeah, yeah. to punch the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, especially, I'm a maker. So I don't just get to go buy my stuff and sell it. I right. make everything. Right. right? And then I got to come out. And you saw my process. It's, it's very involved. Right? Was there a, was there a time where you... Where you, I don't want to say cry, but where you really was like, damn, like, should I continue this? Was yes. There, oh, it was. The most recent time was like two days ago. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, the most recent, 48 hours ago. Okay. 48 hours. But you know what? It comes, and I think a thing, when you call to something, and it's your passion, you keep doing it. Like, so you do take those breaks. Entrepreneurs quit all the time. Even if it's just mentally, I'm going to quit. I don't want right. to do this, right? Mm -hmm. Or money's tight, or bills are due, or whatever the situation is. But when you're called to it, right? Like this is literally God's gift to me. I didn't really start this to be a business. I gave ladies at church some butter. I said I'll make them a gift. They stalked me, and then they said they'll pay me to make it. That's how oh. it started, yo. That's how it fucking. That's started. how it started. And now I was like, okay, let me incorporate. Let me get business insurance. I started with one fragrance. Now I have fifteen. I started with just the butter. Now I have butter, shower gel, all this stuff. I'm called to this, so I could try to quit, but it's all, and then I look around my house, and I'm like, oh, I got $5,000, I got $5,000 right over there, that's in the corner. Just, just got to get it out to the people. You see what I'm saying? So, 
Are you in stores or you sell online mostly? Online. And I do pop -ups. All online? All online and Tell I do pop-ups. www.allbutteredup.com. So it's www.allbutteredup.com. How long did it take you to come up with that name? Not long. That was the first name. <laughs> really? Because I wanted something. When you Googled it, what you were looking for was in the name. Damn. Oh, okay. Was it hard getting, uh, what'd you have to put on that name, a uh, copyright? Trademark. Trademark. LLC. Was it hard LLC. getting it's that trademark? It ain't so much hard as it is long, and it's very subjective. So anybody out there who um, is doing business and you want to trademark something, it's not that it just, it can't sound like the thing, it can't be spelled like the thing, and it can't be confused in the same class. So if I was selling all butter up and I did t-shirts, well that's like that nobody in t-shirts in that category in that class that's right. all buttered up. Right. But in my particular uh, class, which is skincare, there are a lot. So it has to be so it can't be confused with anybody else that has my first rights. Is there anything that you want to tell to young black women, black men, uh, Hispanic, About right, not black being and brown? Ashy. <laughs> what is Don't be ashy, get all nope. buttered up. All entrepreneurship, <laughs> like what, you know, what Give them some word of advice. First of all, if you think you want to be an entrepreneur, you should go to Optima Cooperative, OptimaCoop.com and go to our info session because we help you figure that out through our program, first and foremost. Secondly, it's not it's not easy, but nothing you really want is. True. You have to have a stick to itiveness about it. Yep. You have yep. to innately know that you can do it and even tell yourself you gotta talk yourself through it a lot. And don't depend on everybody around you who you know to be your supporters right. because the only people buying from you people you know you don't know enough people and you're going oh. out of business <laughs> yeah so we thank you for your time thank this you is for awesome. your time. thank you very much it smells awesome thank you thank you sports life and hip-hop